think a lot of people currently are talking about artificial intelligence, which I'm not sure really exists. Um, I think even Ray Kurzweil would agree with that. A deep learning and machine learning, both two very different things, do exist. And I think it's those deep learning algorithms which will allow the healthcare and health tech sector to identify and diagnose conditions earlier. There's lots of examples of deep learning engines identifying pneumonia, um, cancers. And I think the... Um, exponential growth in deep learning platforms leading to eventual artificial intelligence will change healthcare's paradigm from ground up. So from creation of compounds, not needing a laboratory to synthesize one, uh, right the way through to product design and deployment, uh, I think I think is the pro the main trend that will change everything. And if I if I can quickly uh, go on beyond the two minutes, I, I don't always think though the trends that it's the sexy trends that change things. You know, whenever I present at a Congress or go to a Congress, there's lots of people on stage talking about bio nanotechnology, deep learning, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, natural language passing, natural language processing. Um, and the reality is in healthcare and certainly the pharmaceutical sector that most of the people I meet from heads of franchise, C-suite, right the way through to the, the, the kind of ground level, uh, people working in the trenches, they can't even build a well thought out, congruent search search engine marketing strategy uh, or deploy social media effectively within CRM and CLM using, frankly, antiquated systems uh, currently to drive decisions. So it's it's easy to look at trends that are, are going to change the the industry exponentially, like artificial intelligence. But actually, I think the main focus at the moment is. Uh, learning the core competencies and the trends which will allow us to understand audiences better and serve up better content that, that saves lives.